Pfizer yesterday coming out with that news that's saying that they could have an emergency vaccine ready or a vaccine ready for emergency use by the fall. That's really exciting. What, what are you hearing about this? How would you handicap that? And, and if they, that is the case, how long do you think before we get to a situation where we're going to see mass inoculations coming uh, from a vaccination like that? Right. Well, I serve on the Pfizer board, so I'll be careful about saying too, too many specific things about Pfizer in particular. But what I'll say is I think that there's going to be a number of companies that have substantial doses available in the fall. Um, and if their vaccines clear early stage trials and show that they're safe in early stage trials and, and they indicate that they could be efficacious, I think there's going to be American companies prepared to deliver doses of vaccines in substantial numbers. And substantial numbers means not tens of millions of, of doses, but perhaps millions of doses, enough to use in large scale clinical studies if you have an outbreak in an American city where you might deploy the vaccine in an experimental protocol, but deploy it nonetheless in the hopes of trying to contain an outbreak in a city and validate whether or not the vaccine is truly safe and effective for mass inoculation of the population. So we could be on an accelerated timeline for trying to get to a vaccine. Uh, the biggest challenge is going to be manufacturing, trying to scale up manufacturing so you can get the tens, if not hundreds of millions of doses that you're going to need to provide a solution not just to the United States, but also our global friends.